it's just tradition so it should stay like that yeah i think it's really racist <laughs> i think it's a bullshit From what I've read and looked into from a historical standpoint, I know the Dutch government had a like an anthropologist group look into the history of Svart Piet and, and kind of what you know the, the concept of the black face represents. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that Svart Piet was actually a boy, a black boy who uh, St. Nicholas saved. At that time, Spain did have a lot of uh, moors like they had got from Africa. Uh, that's how they got the concept of uh, Zwarapi. So it got many why Zwarapi is Zwart, because they come from the chimney, so they get Zwart. I haven't dug into it myself to see where all the tradition came from, if there was any sort of malice intended with it or not. I think because I still don't know fully the background of the story, I still cannot see it or understand it as the Dutch people. I feel like I can't even broach the subject because it's so heartfelt and, and dear to them. You know, the first time I saw Swarte Piet, I was really surprised. Friends, ch you know, child dressed up in blackface in a picture, and I said, oh, <laughs> this, is, this is a little different. It just kind of shocked me a little bit. Well, it doesn't impact me at all. So I understand that people may feel offended, but I think that being offended is within us, and I decide to react just in a normal way. There seems to be two ways the discussion goes. The first way is if they know that it's not okay, but they can't help but love it. And then people who are just like, you don't understand, if you don't like it, go home. They agree with both sides. They agree that people can take offense to it, but then they state that they don't mean to be offensive. It depends on how it's portrayed or how it's exaggerated. If someone comes down a chimney, it makes sense that they have patches of soot, but it doesn't make sense that their, their hair turns curly and dark. And then the Netherlands is like kind of trying to save face, I think, a bit by saying like, oh no, it's like soot, like he's sooty peat. Like, you don't look like that from just soot, so. <laughs> I understand the idea, but when you throw like an afro and earrings and red lips. I know some people have called it racist, and um, I'm, I'm not really sure if you wanted the black peats to suddenly be white, then I reckon other people would just call that racist. Why you want to remove um, a cold skin character? I think traditions are good, don't change them. It should stay like that, as there is uh, no any racism in it. I feel like some people I've tried to talk to about it, they just they don't care because it's tradition. People don't want it to do uh, the black guy continues because it is racism. It's racist and they know that it's racist. I think the, the racism is inside of you because the kids don't know. They, yeah. they really don't know the color of your skin. I think as children in the Netherlands, they're brought up not to see the color of Sinterklaas and Zwarte Pei. They look at it as a generous older man that brings them gifts if they're good. It's just the typical uh, childhood tradition. I like Zwarte Piet and I like Zwarte. Piet Zwart. <laughs> because, um, well, the history show us that slavery was a fact and uh, people must live with that. We must deal with that to learn with our faults. It's history. You can't avoid history. If you will uh, eliminate everything that was previous, then what you are left of? A reminder of a black population that uh, they were slaves once. I understand that it is a part of tradition. People feel strongly that it's not there for an offensive reason. But I think on some level, we say things, we joke around. A joke can be offensive to someone. I think when we become too politically correct, the fun, you know, is gone. We make a joke like, what is the Santa Claus? The Santa Claus is like some slaves <laughs> carrying the, the gifts yeah. to, the, the, to the old man. But, it's <laughs> yeah. but maybe this story has some beginning when nobody uh, knows what is uh, racism. <laughs> you have to be aware that if a lot of people are offended, um, to adapt, even if you don't mean to offend. I understand their point of view, but... Come on, it's for children, who cares? I think it's just a stupid. Is that bit is so fun. People mistake being part of a racist tradition for people saying that they themselves are racist. It's not the same thing. It doesn't make you a racist, but it itself is undoubtedly racist. But that's just evolution, so if it hurts someone, then I think I would be 
just open, things may change. I think to deny Svart Beat as a slavery is more racist than embrace Svart Beat as a slavery. Till today we have slavery, we still don't learn with that. So keep Svart Beat, Svart, I think it's the very nice way to teach the children to not make that mistake. If tomorrow if a small kid just goes to school and then he gets called Svart Beat, then it can be tough on that kid growing up. So even if it's just one kid and if he's getting hurt by that that concept, that one reason is enough to change. Historically, it seems to lean uh, from human trafficking and today people say it's uh, people covered in coal dust and hopefully in the future they're green and blue and yellow and the contention between adults and children around this event can be resolved. Mm -hmm.